course, I'm the pastor at large around the nation. But uh, my personal pastor, Pastor James A. McMenus, is also someone who has those same convictions. Well, it was the church that led the, Revol the Revolutionary War in 1776, and now the government's come in with faith-based initiatives and the rest of it and taking it over, and that's why we're in so much trouble. That's why they push all this immorality on purpose, is to obviously make us servile, mindless, and childlike. We're going to come back with five more minutes with both of you. Stay with us. I'm Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulting us. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. you got to set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. March. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Sold out for weeks due to the difficult and extensive proprietary process behind its creation, the exclusive InfoWars Life Secret 12 formulation is now back in stock in the last limited shipment of 2014. The most bioactive form that has been created with our proprietary process. This ultra-clean vitamin B12 nutraceutical has been carefully crafted and developed over the last two years and is based on cellular science of how your body actively absorbs essential nutrients. Secret 12 is taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Vitamin B12 deficiency is linked to scores of serious problems. And Secret 12 is a fusion of two organic proprietary forms of vitamin B12, bringing you a true nutraceutical quality vitamin B12. Secret 12 is an excellent Christmas gift. Secure your Secret 12 formula before December 17th at InfoWarsLife.com and receive it before Christmas guaranteed. That's InfoWarsLife.com before December 17th or by calling 888-253-3139. 2015 is almost here, and with it comes those New Year's resolutions to finally transform your body the way you want it. There's a reason over 88% of New Year's resolutions fail. Make this year different by equipping yourself with Oxy Powder, the next level in cleansing the body naturally. Using super oxygenation, Oxy Powder, available through InfoWarsLife.com, gently cleanses the body while you sleep with easy capsules. Tens of thousands of individuals have used Oxy Powder to cleanse their body and aid in their transformations. Even InfoWars Nightly News Director Rob Dew has been using Oxy Powder with incredible success. Took it that first day and then I took it for six more days after that. 12 pounds melted off in about a week, I'd say a week, seven days. 2015 can be different. Diet and exercise are important, but a lot of us have already tried that. Oxy Powder flushes it out. Secure your Oxy Powder at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. As the year is coming to a close, we all pause to reflect on what's happened in the past year. We take a step back and thank God for what we have. I'm David Hall, founder of Diamond Gusset Jeans. At Diamond Gusset, we are celebrating the brush fires of liberty that are spreading across this great nation. Another thing we are celebrating is you. Without the valued listeners of Alex Jones and our loyal customers, we wouldn't be here today. We offer a wonderful online shopping experience. If you receive a pair that doesn't fit, send them back and we'll exchange them at no cost to you. Beat the shopping rush by visiting us at gusset.com and join our email newsletter to receive some great holiday discounts. And paying no attention to political correctness, Diamond Gusset wants to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Thanks for believing in our dream, the original 100% American-made Diamond Gusset Gene.
take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. It's Alex Jones. Well, he helped found three different tea parties. He's a successful radio host, very successful pastor, author, researcher, filmmaker, C.L. Bryant is his name, C.L. Bryant.net. And he's my type of activist for freedom. I mean, he's out there on every media platform he can. He's reaching millions of people with the truth. And if more of us start doing that, it's game over. It's game over, ladies and gentlemen. And then we can see real prosperity and people really getting along and really coming together. Makes me so angry, the race baiting and the division and trying to push people into the globalist-run CIA, hip-hop, gangster culture. And, and the whole rebellious you know, uh, establishment music culture, it's been declassified that they want to wreck our youth. Not the government in general, but the social engineering elements of the private central banks that are in control. J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, De Beers that he was listing earlier that has a worldwide diamond monopoly. Do you know why there are so many movies where there's villains in Africa, black villains, that have black slaves in the Congo or wherever, mining diamonds and gold. Now, in some cases, there's stuff like that. I've studied it. Had documentary filmmakers, mercenaries on, and, and, and I want his colleague, to correct me if I'm wrong, Pastor uh, Rodney Howard Brown. But in most movies, when you see Leonardo DiCaprio finding out that there's an evil African country secretly selling diamonds and they're blood diamonds, they're only blood diamonds when somebody in a country or a region is mining diamonds on their own or through a government to sell them on the market. And De Beers and the Oppenheimers, on record, will send in helicopter gunships to take you out just outside of law. I remember an article in 99 in New Yorker magazine bragging about it. My dad, on the side, just because he went to college with some of them, uh, knew a major South African family that was in the diamond business, was one of the only families ever to develop a, a diamond mine outside of De Beers. And then Clinton ordered it an environmental zone in Arkansas, and they bought them out for $4 billion. My dad's friends developed those mines in Arkansas. There's diamonds all over the place. They're semi-precious. They're like agates. I mean, they're near worthless, but people will pay a five-year salary to get their wife one. It's all mind control. And I'm kind of segueing off, but it shows the type of emotionalism that goes on. The real blood diamonds are the certified safe by the UN and De Beers. That just shows the triumph of fraud over reality. They don't want Africa with its incredible resources to actually go to the Africans. So every time some country starts building up, I mean, look at well, what they've done in you know, different areas, kicking all the whites out with the UN there promoting it because they want Africa to collapse. I'm going to go back to Pastor uh, Rodney Howard Brown of Revival.com. I wanted to have C.L. Bryant finish his point about Al Sharpton and Eric Holder and all of these guys who know exactly what they're doing. And I think you're about to say when there is martial law or a race war, if they can get it, that it's on their hands? Or I don't want to finish your sentence. What were you about to say when the break cut you off, Pastor? When the break cut me off, there is a race war that is brewing. It is one that is by design uh, of this government. And you have people under the guise of reverend, like Reverend Al Sharpton, who has never passed the church. Neither has Reverend Jesse Jackson. I've passed the three churches. Pastor Rodney Howard Brown is very successful in pastoring the river. But the church itself, in so many cases, and Pastor uh, Alex, in so many cases, are complicit in their silence of what is going on. They don't want to know. They're like the Austrians, who, in fact, have their faces, their heads in the sand. And they certainly don't want to tell their congregants what's going on, because so many of them have actually felt that all. But so many of them have actually sold their soul to the system in order to keep their doors open, so they think. 
You're right. We uh, have a book available at InfoWarsStore.com by Pastor Chuck Baldwin called Romans 13, written with his son who's a constitutional lawyer. And they use Romans 13 out of context. If Romans 13 was uh, uh, believed in the context Hitler used it for or our government uses it for, pastors, I'd like you to both comment on this. Uh, then Jesus should have followed his orders, or the, the, the disciples, or the, the folks in the fiery furnace, or the lion's den, should have done what government told them. If all government is basically by God, uh, boy, they've really twisted that, haven't they? Alex, there are fiery furnaces in front of us now, and those who will bow down will, in fact, be trampled by the government system. And Pastor Brown and I have talked about this on so many occasions, and here's a wealth, a wealth of knowledge and the grand scheme of things. He's really able to pull it together. I do want to, to yield to him at this point. I really think people need to hear what he has to You better. We'll have him back by himself, and you back uh, by himself as well, Mr. Bryant. But, but sure, before we get into South Africa parallels, how they don't let Africa have its own resources, any gold or diamonds by an African country is a blood diamond. This, this is the type of word games they play. I want you to comment on that. Also, the martial law that C.L. Bryant says is coming, but specifically Romans 13, that was Hitler's favorite Bible passage. And when you look at the passage that Hitler loved, when you look at the powers that are ordained here, when you look at that, Hitler was also very much into Darwinism. Darwin was one of Hitler's favorite reads. Why? Because unbeknownst to so many who push the, the present-day school system, Common Core, and all of that, Darwin was a racist. And we need to understand that so many things that are happening under the Obama administration are based on the fact that this man is also complicit with the racism that he claims to be so much against. Well, that was the Margaret Sanger, Rockefeller, D D Darwinian eugenics plan. That's what it is by stealth. Absolutely. Uh, going uh, back to the other uh, uh, pastor, uh, Howard Brown, your take on Romans 13 and then expanding. Well, I mean, I believe we need to stand up for righteousness as a man of God. If I see those in power breaking the law, then I'm going to go and get in their face. I mean, the bottom line is people in government are elected by us. They are there to serve us. We don't serve them. We don't bow down to them. When I walked into the Capitol and met with uh, congressmen and senators in the, in the House and, and the Senate, and I spoke direct to them, I, uh, some of them I had three or five minutes with, but I said, look, you might be out of office in four or five years. I'm still going to be in the ministry, so I'm going to talk straight. I'm not here to be liked. I'm not looking for your vote, but I'm here to warn you that we are on the brink of a total collapse of our society. Here we've got $85 billion a month being sucked out of our nation through the offshore banking cartels propping up Wall Street. They are raping and pillaging our nation. You've got 27 million African-American babies aborted through Planned Parenthood, and no one says anything about it. They just leave it alone. So I believe that we have to stand up and come against the system that is wicked. I don't believe that because we're Christians that we go lie down and just let them roll over us. Absolutely not. If, if they think that we're going to be quiet, let me tell you right now, it'll be a cold day in hell with the devil singing Frosty the Snowman before I shut up. I'm not going to shut up. And I am an American, and I raise my hand to pledge to defend the Constitution, and that means the First Amendment and the Second Amendment, and I'll do whatever it takes. So... They should never have sworn me in as a citizen because uh, you've got a problem now. You've got somebody who really believes in the Constitution and is going to stand up against tyranny. And so I know that there's a group of ministers that once a year they have what they call uh, one Sunday. Sunday. So they called me and they said, would you like to join us? I said, I said, no, I'm, my, every Sunday is Pulpit Freedom Sunday. I said, we are reaching into the inner cities, Alec, right here in the Tampa, Tampa Bay area. Our crime rate in, our, in Hillsborough County is down 64%. According to the Tampa Police Department, the FBI, they don't know why, but we are going house to house. We're praying with people. We're giving people opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We are, we, we are raising all of our people to go out, and then I bust people in from the inner cities. Our, our church is totally integrated, and we...